Throughout the span of science, people have endeavored to appreciate how the universe began. The most generally perceived explanation has been something many allude to as the hypothesis of how things came to be. Numerous assessments, furthermore, crafted by huge numbers of analysts support this thought, giving confirmation about how the universe started. At any rate, in the current universe of science, new technology brings us novel considerations and perspectives. These considerations challenge our past presumptions. Neil deGrasse Tyson has turned into a huge voice in this developing universe of science. Now, something exciting is occurring with the James Webb Space Telescope. It's critical, something that could make us question the hypothesis of the ancient grandiose explosion. The James Webb Space Telescope has found 750 new universes. These universes are not what we expected, driving us to reconsider what we believed we knew about them. This telescope was designed to assist us in grasping how universes came to be. So, it's not stunning that it's stirring up how we interpret the universe. In the past, scientists said that the Big Bang Theory was the best explanation for how the universe started. According to this theory, around 13.7 billion years ago, the universe appeared through a mysterious galactic event, much like the dramatic story of the universe's introduction to the world. Anyway, the photos from the James Webb Space Telescope have tested this idea. These pictures show universes that are smaller, smoother, older, and more varied than what the theory predicts. According to the hypothesis, as the universe grows, galaxies should look bigger the farther away they are. However, these infinite systems don't see that rule. The hypothesis also states that at the beginning of the universe, all the stuff that makes up the universe was stuffed into a little superdense point called a singularity. This singularity was marvelously hot, more sultry than anything we might measure or create. This idea of a singularity comes from a set of conditions in physics proposed by Albert Einstein called general relativity. Inside the singularity, all the stuff in the universe was compacted into a minuscule space with very high density, meaning there was a tremendous amount of mass and energy packed into a small space. In simpler terms, analysts have consistently said the hypothesis of the universe's starting point was the secret of how the universe started. But at this point, these new pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope are making us question that thought. The galaxies it found don't fit with what the hypothesis expected, and the theoretical explanation of the early universe may not be just about as sure as we once thought. In our current comprehension of the universe, we accept that all the energy in the universe started from an extremely hot and very thick point called a singularity. This singularity serves as the starting point for all that we find in the universe today. After this singularity, the universe began to expand and develop over around 13.7 billion years to become what it is today. The development started with something many allude to as cosmic inflation, where the universe grew incredibly rapidly, quicker than the speed of light. It's as though the very fabric of space itself was expanding, and everything in it was extending alongside it. This galactic development helped shape the universe by making things more uniform and setting the stage for galaxies, stars, and other gigantic designs to form. As the universe continued to expand, it didn't stretch as quickly as during cosmic inflation. However, it still continued to get bigger. We call this constant improvement cosmic expansion. Analysts have seen evidence of this development through things like the way light from far-off systems changes in color, known as redshift. Now, we ought to examine those amazing pictures of new worlds taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. To a great many people, these photographs look dazzling, with numerous universes in a single frame. Yet for analysts, it's generally a shock. These photos don't match what their theories anticipated. Regardless of anything else, these systems are a lot surprisingly old which challenges our comprehension of how systems form and develop. According to the hypothesis of the universe's starting point, there are definitely a larger number of worlds than we expected. The theory of the Big Bang made expectations about the quantity of worlds there should be and the way that they ought to be dispersed. Anyway, the James Webb Space Telescope pictures show some more worlds than anticipated. This makes specialists question whether the hypothesis expectations are accurate. Some scientists are even beginning to overreact a bit, in light of the fact that these disclosures don't match their suspicions at all. Another surprising part of these new cosmic systems is their perfection, which clashes with what the hypothesis of how things came to be proposes. According to the speculation, 
galaxies ought to show anomalies and varieties in their designs due to how they shaped and developed. Anyway, the pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope show worlds that are strangely smooth, lacking the normal intricacy and roughness expected during the development of the universe. Everything that makes up our universe was packed into a small space. As the universe expanded and cooled, changes happened, and particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons began to interact with light and energy around them. These connections assumed a pivotal part in forming the development of matter in the universe. In the initial minutes after the Big Bang, there was an interaction called nucleosynthesis, which involved the development of light elements like hydrogen and helium. These components set the stage for the improvement of stars, galaxies, and more complex elements as cosmic history unfurled. This blend of regular building blocks was a critical stage in the universe's advancement, moving from an early-stage ocean of particles and energy to a state where matter began to coalesce. The Big Bang Theory had anticipated to see systems that were turbulent and upset due to various impacts. Anyway, the James Webb Space Telescope pictures tell an alternate story. As opposed to violent and confused universes, the photographs reveal smooth disks and systematic winding shapes, resembling the galaxies seen in the current universe. This astounding finding challenges the idea that impacts are a normal piece of galaxy development. Assuming that there are few or no crashes happening in these cosmic systems, as suggested by the hypothesis of the universe's starting point, it becomes impossible that small universes could advance to become much larger. Also, the optical deception anticipated by the growing universe hypothesis, where objects seem smaller with increasing distance due to expansion, doesn't appear to hold. Cosmologists have noticed a striking pattern where galaxies tend to gather in large groups, forming complex organizations across the universe. This observed large-scale structure aligns with the expectations made by the hypothesis of the Big Bang. According to the hypothesis, the universe began in a very hot and dense state and then continuously expanded and cooled over time. As the universe expanded, gravity assumed a pivotal part in shaping how matter was distributed and in forming galaxies. The gravitational effects anticipated by the hypothesis of the Big Bang are consistent with what we see today, with gravity organizing matter, leading to the clustering of galaxies and the arrangement of interconnected filamentary structures known as the cosmic web. The presence of these galaxy groups and the astronomical web structure strongly supports the hypothesis of the Big Bang. How galaxies are distributed across the universe aligns with the gravitational effects expected from the initial dense and expanding state proposed by the hypothesis. These factors, including the clustering of galaxies, the cosmic web structure, and the distribution of galaxy groups, provide strong evidence that the universe evolved from an extremely dense state and has been growing for billions of years. Now, we ought to get back to the size of the galaxies found by the James Webb Space Telescope. These photos contradict what we thought we knew about the hypothesis of the universe's starting point. According to the theory, small galaxies ought to grow and develop through crashes and mergers with other galaxies. However, observations made by the James Webb Space Telescope feel a little wary on this thought. If galaxies were colliding and merging as expected, we would see evidence of these crashes or imprints in the surrounding galaxies. However, the pictures show something else. So, is the hypothesis of the Big Bang simply a thought without verification? No, it is indeed supported by indisputable proof, including observations of the redshift of light from far-off galaxies, which offer support for the growing universe hypothesis. Observations show galaxies moving away from one another in all directions, suggesting reliable development as expected by the hypothesis. The wealth of light elements like hydrogen and helium seen throughout the universe is also predictable with the hypothesis of the Big Bang's expectations. Moreover, the large-scale distribution of galaxies uncovered through galactic surveys matches the patterns anticipated by the theory of the universe's origin. Quite possibly one of the most significant pieces of evidence for the theory of the universe's origin is the discovery of the cosmic microwave background CMB. The CMB is a weak radiation that fills the whole universe and represents the afterglow of the Big Bang. This radiation, first identified in 1965, closely aligns with the predictions made by the hypothesis of how things came to be. The observed characteristics of the CMB, including its uniformity and temperature distribution, strongly support the idea that the universe was once in an unbelievably hot and dense state prior to going through expansion 
a central part of the hypothesis of the universe's starting point. The discovery of the cosmic microwave background is a vital piece of evidence that gives us a unique glimpse into the early moments of the universe. It serves as a reverberation of the initial stages following the Big Bang and has assumed a crucial role in establishing the hypothesis of the universe's starting point as our best explanation for the origins of the universe. However, recent discoveries have challenged some aspects of the theory of the universe's origin. The presence of galaxies with ages that appear to predate the Big Bang contradicts the hypothesis' central premise, suggesting that the Big Bang may not have occurred as initially suspected and that everything may not have begun from it. Proponents of the Big Bang hypothesis had speculated that as the James Webb Space Telescope looked deeper into space and back in time, the number of visible galaxies would decline, ultimately leading to an endless dark age. However, Recent research shows that even a few hundred million years after the hypothetical Big Bang, galaxies as massive as our Milky Way were expected. The James Webb Space Telescope images reveal a much larger overflow of massive galaxies at redshifts greater than 10 than what researchers had expected, challenging the validity of the hypothesis of how things came to be. Moreover, the hypothesis of how things came to be is associated with 16 incorrect predictions in the current body of scientific literature with only one accurate prediction regarding the abundance of deuterium, a kind of hydrogen. Some of these erroneous predictions include estimates of helium abundance, which are off by a factor of 2, and predictions for the abundance of lithium, which are off by a factor of 20. The theory also fails to explain various anomalies, such as the absence of the anticipated illusion where objects ought to seem smaller with increasing distance. These anomalies raise concerns about the validity of the hypothesis of how things came to be. By focusing on the colors of distant galaxies in the infrared part of the spectrum, cosmologists can estimate the ages of the stars within these galaxies. Some of these galaxies appear to have stellar populations that are over a billion years old, contradicting the hypothesis statement that nothing should have formed before the Big Bang. Despite these critical inconsistencies, it's important to note that the potential breakdown of the Big Bang hypothesis hasn't received widespread attention in major media outlets. The lack of widespread attention to recent challenges to the hypothesis of the Big Bang can be attributed to what is known as the Emperor's New Clothes Effect, where scrutinizing the hypothesis often leads to researchers being condemned or labeled as ignorant, which can deter further investigation of alternative hypotheses. The cyclic universe model, in particular, could help make sense of the new galaxies that have been identified. These universes might be part of another cycle that we have observed. However, it's essential to note that these alternative theories have their own complexities and challenges, and the academic community continues to explore and discuss these ideas. The quest for knowledge and understanding in cosmology involves ongoing investigation and consideration of various theories, and open discussions are vital for advancing our comprehension as we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe. The tools we use to explore it are becoming increasingly complex. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its advanced capabilities, offers a new lens through which to see the universe, revealing aspects of astronomical development and advancement that were previously shrouded in mystery. One of the key advances brought by Webb is its ability to observe galaxies at different evolutionary stages and at various moments, providing a more nuanced perspective on their life cycles. Recent observations suggest that the early universe might have been more complex than the theory of the universe's origin initially proposed. For example, web data shows that some of the newly found galaxies appear to have formed significantly sooner than expected, challenging our understanding of cosmic timelines. This evidence pushes the limits of current models and forces specialists to consider alternative explanations for these discoveries. Another fascinating aspect is the potential for primordial black holes. These hypothetical objects, which could have formed in the early universe, may help explain some of the unexpected characteristics observed in distant galaxies. If these black holes are present, they could significantly influence the growth and development of galaxies, introducing new variables into our understanding of cosmic evolution. The increased resolution of Webb's observations also allows scientists to study the formation of stars and planetary systems in unprecedented detail. By analyzing the light from these distant stars and the surrounding gas and dust, Researchers can gain insights into the processes that govern star formation and the emergence of planetary systems. This information is vital for understanding how habitable conditions could arise in various parts of the universe. 
Overall, the James Webb Space Telescope represents a remarkable leap forward in our ability to explore the cosmos. Its findings are challenging long-held beliefs and inspiring a new generation of scientific inquiry into the origins and evolution of the universe. As we continue to analyze the data it provides, we may find ourselves rewriting the cosmic history we thought we understood.